Hello everyone, this is Alex from Albu Studio and today I would like to talk to you about a company you maybe know, Bitmain. If you are new to the channel, I'm talking about tech and cryptocurrency. So if you are into that, consider subscribing so that you don't miss any further video updates. Let's talk about Bitmain. Uh, if you are in crypto community, you probably know this company. This is one of the biggest players on the market for ASIC miners. Yes, they produce Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash and other mining machines, which is known as ASICs. The company was formed in 2014. This is not a hate video about Bitmain. Although I was a client and I disagree with some of their practices. So let's talk about Bitmain. If you remember 2017, 2018, this was a crazy year for crypto. And there was a lot of new stuff on the market. The first time I personally started using Bitmain machines with L3, their first machine for Litecoin, which I've purchased around mid 2017 for $1,500. That machine worked perfect. I had three of them. The profit per day was around 120, 120, 150 USD, which was perfect. Then, in autumn, they released the first powerful X11 miner, D3, which everyone got crazy about, and everybody started to buy. The original price was around, I'm, if I'm not forgetting, you can check them out, on 2 k uh, The ones I've purchased was again at 1500 USD. And then I've purchased around 30 machines, which there was not a problem. The problems came when Bitmain changed their policy. Before, there was like a Ferrari. They've built a limited number of machines and release them to the public. But with D3, they've decided to go crazy. And as from that point till now, I've started to call them a toaster maker. Why I started to call them a toaster maker? Because they've created a good product. But they didn't compare the demand and the real ability of X11 network to handle such increase in difficulty and hash rate. And what happened? They killed the mining for everybody who purchased those machines and they killed the business for them. At the end, just five months later from the initial purchase, the official price on the website was, let's see, $39. Thirty-nine bucks. What what can I say about this? This was the first time they've screw everybody up. The second time they've released I think it was Yes, it was A3, a Sia miner. Okay, good, no problem. I've purchased one four nine it was it was around 1k when i've got it it was making around 30 bucks a day which is okay no problem but what happened guys at sia coin saw this and let's see what we've got an official announcement that they will fork everything out except obelisk so the isaac from bitmine became useless overnight okay Second strike. They didn't stop with this. They've released a bunch of Bitcoin miners just four months ago. And what happened? The machine that they were selling for two and a half K now costs less than nine hundred dollars. Is that okay? So the same thing they are doing. It's a pattern. They release a product, they make a lot of toasters, sell them to the public, difficulty goes high, they don't make money, they sell them cheaper. 
So basically, if you are buying machine from them, you know what happens? One thing, you are buying a toaster. Oh, oh, and I forgot. There was also a ASIC miner for kryptonite algorithm. And what happened to this ASIC miner? If you remember, first Monero, then others, they forked ASICs. So I don't know who is running a business strategy in Bitmine. Honestly, I don't know. But if you are watching this video, guys, try to be more like a Ferrari. Think about the units you are releasing. Let it be few thousand a month, not millions of ISICs. It's not bad for us miners, it's bad for you too, for two reasons. You sell your equipment cheap, this is one. Second, everybody know that you are mining. So, since you are mining and you are raising the difficulty, your machines making less money. Is that good for your business? I don't think so. The last time I've heard, you've been closing some of your facilities. So, maybe, maybe, and just maybe, you should think when you release more powerful machines to limit the amount you are selling. By doing this, you will not be raising a difficulty too much and the people who are buying your product will not get screwed for their money. Because buying an ISIC today, you have few kilowatts of electricity as consumption, which is your expense. Since you are having this expense, you need to cover it. And how will you cover it? You will cover it from money flow. But covering your electricity plus the price of ASIC, if you will make it even, you are very lucky. But for us here in Europe, or for you guys in States or Australia, where electricity is not that cheap, I don't think it's possible anymore. I still run a mining farm, which, is, which consists of uh, around 100 GPUs. And I'm using only GPU because using those machines is unreliable. I've been using GPUs for three years and I've never had this problem. I've invested my money, I can sell them and I'm making money. With ASIC, I buy ASIC, I receive ASIC after a month or two, it makes less money than it should have been making, and by the time it barely makes an electricity bill, I need to sell it because otherwise I will not make anything. So usually you are on the loss or maybe at the even point, but you don't go up for the profit. So that's why I six from Bitmine at the moment, there's not something that you should consider from my point of view. I honestly think that Bitmine will get to their senses and stop making toasters and will return to making ASIC machine, which will be expensive, but efficient. So that buying one, at least you can use it for a year, year and a half. If you buy now the latest, the latest, and let's be like Apple, the most powerful Bitcoin ISIC that they've ever made for 900 bucks, you can take your money, go to the trash can and throw them away. This will be the same. I'm not against Bitmine, but I'm hoping that they will come to their senses. Otherwise, if you will ask me, and this is, this is a financial advice, don't invest in ASIC machines at this point of time. I don't see a reason why you would do such a thing. This is a waste of your money, a waste of your time, and you will not get anything. So guys, this is my opinion on why you should avoid Bitmine. If you have any questions, you can leave them at the comment section below, and I will try to help you out. With that being said, I would like to thank you for time and see you in the next videos. Take care. Bye-bye.